Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how to add scale points to your scales in Qualtrics. So I've already done this for the first multiple choice question. We have this scale going from one to seven, strongly disagree to strongly agree. And so I have put the scale points of one above strongly disagree, four in our midpoint, which is neither agree nor disagree, and seven for strongly agree here. So we're going to do the same thing in our matrix table here. And it's very simple to do this, especially uh, in Qualtrics, they make it very simple. So to do this above the uh, scale terms that we have strongly disagree to strongly agree, we need to click at the start of our wording. So if we have strongly disagree, we would click before uh, those words start and we would need to type our number. So here we're going to type a one, and then we'll need to use these brackets, and a bracket is going to be the, um, ver the V type bracket. It's going to be horizontal, and we'll type BR, and then we'll close our brackets there, and you just click anywhere on the page, and it will put that one above your strongly disagree. Now we'll do the same thing for neither agree nor disagree. However, this time we're going to use a four. And so you just make those brackets, put the BR, which represents a break, and then we close the brackets. And you just click anywhere on the page. Finally, we'll do our strongly agree. Start at the beginning, and we'll type our seven here, our brackets, BR, and then close our brackets there. So that is how to add the scale endpoints and a scale midpoint. Now, if you'd like to, you could add uh, each scale point for each of the different options. So we could do a two here and uh, make that break and do that for each of these. However, I don't think it's really necessary to do that. You can also make it to where your numbers are at the bottom instead of at the top. So you may want to do this, um, it just depends on kind of your preference, but you could do this instead of them being at the top, you could have them be at the bottom of uh, each of your scale statements here. So that is how to do the, uh, make the points, add the numbers to each of these uh, scale points, and you'll need to do that to finish up your survey, add the finishing touches, kind of make it look polished. And the only thing that I require is for you to have the endpoints. So for uh, strongly disagree, for example, to strongly agree, you would need to have a number for strongly disagree and a number for strongly agree. You can put the midpoint, but I leave that up to you. And you can put a point for each of these uh, other scale points. However, that is also up to you. So you could do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, but uh, you definitely need to have the, uh, the text to go with it. So that is it on showing you how to add those numbers to your scales. If you have any other questions on how to do this, feel free to email me at kt.manus at ttu.edu. Thank you.